Hello. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Mimi Quarantina, and look what I found here. Look. I can't remember this. What year this is? I'm pretty sure I was like what eight, nine, ten, like around there when I had gotten this at a book fair, and these were very popular when I was. A little girl in elementary school because every time it was like oh my gosh we're having a book fair like all the girls would get this now basically what it is it's a diary as you can see right here um they're very well known um and i don't know if they sold this at every school's book fair but um that was i saying bookstore this whole time book fair you guys get what i was trying to say but no yeah i thought that this was be very very interesting to put on my youtube channel because this has all of my little secrets in it from when i was little and i just thought it would be very funny and interesting to talk about um so yeah these were very popular when i was younger the school that i went to and i'm pretty sure like other schools around my area had the same thing um coke or pepsi but yeah let's get into it I'm gonna just skip the pages that I didn't write on because there's a couple pages that I didn't write on. But, um, so the first page is basically like right, what, right here. It says, like, how many words can you make out of your name? So I wrote a couple there. Um, and then this part, it would say, like, what made you smile? And then I put, like, when I take a picture, what makes you cry when animals die, like, cute stuff like that. And then, as you can see, my crazy behind right here it says like it says tape some strands of your hair here strands when i tell you i was like okay and like cut a whole chunk of my hair that's exactly what i did and i'm surprised because like i don't know i thought like after a couple years went by and like you know your hair is dead it's cut off that it would turn gray but obviously not um so right here is some more stuff it says i could name or no um, number one, could name a newly discovered planet, what would you call it? Um, and then I put, I would call it Pretty Planet. Um, number two, could make a wish come true for one friend, who would you pick and what's that wish? I put, I would pick Michaela Wilson. Hers would be to be a superstar. And it's funny because like, when I used to go to a Pleasantville rec center over here every day after school, I was close with a girl named Michaela. So you know and if you guys know who Michaela Wilson is for those who do live in New Jersey around my area let me know um another one was where if you were really famous who would you like to hang out with I was like I would like to hang out with Beyonce surprise surprise um want a trip around the world for five um which four people would you take with you and why I was like I would take Kayla Michaela my mom and my dad I picked them because I care about them um number five we're guaranteed a position in any popular band what band would you choose and why i pick lemonade mouth because they are awesome um for those like lemonade mouth for those who don't know what that is that was a movie that was a disney channel movie but y'all should know what that is. um but yeah that movie was super dope and yeah so this one says if your friends were dogs what kind would they be i put um michaela would be a chihuahua kayla would be a poodle amar would be a hound karina would be a chihuahua jada chihuahua and tyrese would be a german shepherd and i literally would bring this out during recess and like ask people like what dog would you want to be um or i just put what i thought that they would be um so it says everything you spend most of your time thinking about and this is not true i don't know why i put this because i don't wear makeup but i put clothes makeup perfume shoes jewelry pets hair stuff purses ipad 3ds dsi phone camera hair done and books and then right here it says i'm obsessed with and i put the ipad 2 and beyonce <laughs> um then right here it says like what do you think about peas and then i put love them because i like peas <laughs> if you could shrink one thing in your life what would you choose i put my worst enemy totally <laughs> like i legit put totally right here 
what one thing would you want to really, really supersize? And then I put, I would supersize my pets. Wild imagination. List everything you put ketchup on. No, this is true. Rice, hot dog, hamburgers, sandwich, french fries, chicken nuggets, and then the rest of them I just put question mark. Um, something you do when no one's looking, and then I put write notes and stuff. <laughs> if you could teleport anywhere for one hour, where would you go? I put to Hawaii and or Hollywood to meet my fave celebs. But I put, I put. Here we go with my words again. I put fave celebs, but like I didn't. I put clebs. Yeah, that's what I did. Um, let me see. BF, BFF, friend, friend of me, old friend, new friend, or kind of friend, bud, etc. Who makes you LOL the most? I put Anaya. Um, another girl I used to know in elementary school. Who makes you mad the most and why? I put Eric Hicks because he is so rude. It was this boy in my elementary school who was so nasty. He would pick his nose, pick his nose and everything like. And he probably changed now. He probably changed the leaf. Who knows? I haven't seen him since elementary school, but. He also used to have a crush on me and he was super mean to me because of that and I rejected him so that made him want to be mean even more um it says who makes you sad the most why I put question mark because nobody really made me sad um it says you miss and I put Sade but I meant to put Sadea another close friend of mine we was like besties um who would you talk to every single day I put Maylene but that wasn't really true Mm, that wasn't really true. Maybe I wanted us to talk every day, but that's not what happened. Because I remember and we did not talk every day. Um, who is sometimes a bad influence on you? How? And I put Anaya because she is sometimes mean. Um, for number seven, who is always a good influence? How? I put Samara Lise because she is nice and caring. Who will you know for life? Samara Lise. Um, that's true because I actually have her on my Instagram. Um, I saw her the other day at the mall and recently I think my dad saw her mom. So it's crazy how life works out, but yeah. Um, but yes, so my Lisa was super nice. We used to be super close and our pan parents were also super close. So yeah, it's funny because like if they watch this video, they're going to be like, oh my God, she's talking about me. <laughs> yeah, girl, I was talking about you. <laughs> But this part, it says, who may you never see again? Sadea. Who do you dream about the most? Sadea. Now that sounds kind of creepy. I don't remember having dreams about Sadea. I probably did. <laughs> um, all right, this is my favorite one, or one of my favorite pages. TV show you and your friends love to talk about. I put Shake It Up and Good Luck Charlie. Fave TV show couple, High School Musical. I didn't know the name of them. It was, um, you know, <laughs> that couple. Don't get mad at me. I forgot their names. Um, absolute funniest ad running. I put SpongeBob SquarePants. I don't think I understood the question. Show you watch, but wouldn't want your friends to know. I put question mark. At first, I put SpongeBob SquarePants, but then I raised it for whatever reason. And then I had put question mark. And then rerun you love SpongeBob SquarePants. Funniest cartoon, Adventure Time. I'm sad that they didn't continue with Adventure Time because Adventure Time was lit. I don't care. Drama. Um, what's the latest drama in your life? Turn into a movie poster. Give it a title. Who are all your fave drama queens involved? Who started it? Blah, blah, blah. It's so funny because um, I think I drew me and my cousin. <laughs> yeah, I drew me and my cousin. And that wasn't too bad for um, a little kid drawing. But yeah, so um, she's, I'm, I'm standing on top of the bed and I'm like, she's so bossy. And then my cousin's like, I'm the boss of her. Like that's what I put in little quote things. Um, and I titled it Stupid Argument, starring Miriam and Kayra. <laughs> Directed by Miriam, produced by me, music by me. That's funny. Okay, this one's actually really funny. Draw your most worn out pair of shoes. When I tell you guys, we had to wear uniforms and we had to wear like black shoes. I wore these black Converse like every day until obviously like I changed them um, when I was wearing like black boots, but yeah. <laughs> 
So it says, do you think you'll ever toss them? And I put yes, and of course I did. Um, it says, why do you wear them so much? I was like, because I like them. How long have you had them? One year. Farthest they've ever traveled? I put they didn't. Like what? How does your mom feel about them? Just fine, I don't know why. That's funny. Um, what fictional character, human or animal, from a book, TV show, or movie would you love to be friends with and why? I put, well, I would love to be friends with Spongebob because he is so funny and always happy, sometimes annoying, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, this one's an interesting one. These are one of my other favorite ones. It's, the light is like killing it. Okay, that's what it looks like. It says, keep a dream log. Describe weird, awesome, or scary ones you remember. I put one dream I had was that I saw a prodigy from Mindless Behavior. I totally like him. I love Mindless Behavior. Then, yeah, one scary dream I had was when I was at my BFF's house, we were all standing in the kitchen because her dad and the devil had the devil in him. We tried to get a priest, but it was too late. I stopped dreaming. That dream was scary. I actually remember that dream. It is. Okay, this is the next page. Today be a little minus Y. Oh, nosy. Um, ugh, listen. Okay, find out some not so juicy nuggets of info about people in your world. Ask a friend, classmate, teacher, etc. These random questions. Sorry about that. My phone had cut the camera off on me. Okay, so I put. I did have a gym coach named Mr. Wolf. But they meant for me to ask him that question, but I didn't understand it when I was little, obviously, so I put mine. It would probably be ABC, even though I didn't even eat that at the time. Um, kid who sits to the left of you in one of your classes, and then I put Daniela. I remember her too. She also follows me on Instagram. Um, when you get out of bed in the AM, which foot hits the floor first? I put it's probably the right foot. And then... One of your teachers, Miss Cass, mm, I could not stand her, but she gave us mad math homework. I hated math, and I still do. <laughs> and she was just really mean. She was not even gonna cap to you. Like people I still know now that I keep in touch with, we always laugh about her because she was just really mean. Um, what's something you bought because an ad made it look super cool? I bought super cool shoes from Justice and wrote cool stuff on them. I probably did. <laughs> Best friend, Kayla. Last thing you spit into a napkin because it was gross. I put raisins, ew. Adult family member, Papa. What's, and that's what I used to call my dad, but as I got older, I stopped calling him that. I don't know why, it just grew off me. What's your best dance move? Ask for demonstration. Rate the move from one to 10, being awesome. I put 10, oh yeah. Like, what? <laughs> Oh, and the girl, Kayla, me and her were not best friends. Once again, maybe I wanted me and her to be best friends, but we just weren't. What's one thing you're better at than anyone else you know? I put singer. I should have just put singing, but once again. Um, yes, okay. Now that I'm reading this, I realize that this was for like a freshman or a sophomore. Like a high school girl. But, shoot. <laughs> Are you a girly girl or not? Last time you had a mini petty. I put um, a year ago. Like your shoe color to match your outfit color? And then I put no. Um, is your bag bright and floral? I put no. How do you feel about pink? I put okay. Prefer to hang out with girls. Oh, this is some like he said, she said type stuff. She said, how did you meet your best girlfriend? What did you like about her? Um, what Amy said just like that we were just meant to I like Amy because um, Best BFFs she's chill Cor And then she said now ask her if she remembers how you met and why I became BFFs Karina interested me to her Then we started to know each other It was supposed to be for the same person, but it was two different people, Amy and Karina, and I remember both of those people, but I don't have them on Instagram. Um, do not label me. Check out all the labels on your outfit. Draw them here. And that's what I did. I think those were like sweatpants or jacket that I was wearing, and I put them over here. But yeah. Okay, so this is another page right here. 
well let's just say how this truly means to me that's what i would say um for the girl but i'll explain why it says that do you like hugging yes last person you hugged michaela who deserves a pie in the face eric hicks because he gets on my last nerves um if you had a world audience for five minutes what would you say to them how this truly means to me um i've always wandered i mean wandered i've always wondered what it would be like if i lived in saturn um do you cry easily no cry when you're super happy huh i literally put huh huh was an option that was funny okay so i skip forward in my diary to the more interesting part and this part is so funny okay so what do you refuse to do in front of people sing because i'm very shy um what do you love to do in public look fabulous um crowds and then i picked make me feel claustrophobic but that's not true what do you like to do alone go in my girl diary um do you like talking and i put with a group of people question mark and then on a scale from one to five being sweat pig nervous how nervous are you being giving an a presentation at school i put three from one to five describe your best public performance singing acting and dancing dancing oh my gosh dancing and i put totally okay so this is where all the crush stuff comes in at um so how's your heart and then i put m in love and then um i put my little boyfriend his name was Jaden stanley i also have him on instagram too um and then i put pretty pretty good because it asks like how your heart is and stuff i put here's what's going on me and Jaden are going going out people keep talking about it it's getting un annoying or on my nerves so yeah that's what i said <laughs> write the letter text chat whatever that you'll never send um i put so it says it all right here so it's to Jaden stanley from me Jaden, you are so good looking and i can't seem to get you out my mind because you are the one sometimes i dream about you and me and when you touch me and my eyes get shinier than usual you are the best and then i put like a you with the heart in the part. <laughs> girl <laughs> Okay, what happened today from your worst to best? Um, worst, I got a detention. Four, I was talking, I got in trouble. Three, I got better in math. Two, the teacher was proud of me. One, I ate lunch, I was hungry. <laughs> okay, let me skip to, let me skip to, um, which part was it? Oh my gosh. I just had it. Come on, let me skip to it, let me skip to it. Okay this is your virtual tree carve messages into it with pen um so and so loves what's his name hug a tree today or write some juicy deets about your life um and i put a lot of boys like me also a lot like on the side after i was done writing on this tree so what i had put was there's this boy his name is Jaden. um i put michael because i used to have a crush on michaela's brother michael but I crossed out his name and put Jaden. He is so hot and so cute. I cannot keep my mind off of him. I never thought I would like a boy like that ever in my life. But I hope he never dislikes me though. He has a six pack and he shows off in front of me. I think that is so cute. And his hairstyle is off the chain. I like him so much. Ah, yo, I was really funny. Like, I was really, really funny. Oh my gosh yeah oh look at that i still have extra pages mad extra pages that i didn't write in okay it was just something random i put in the back um i am dot 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 cool funny smart awesome cheerful full of happiness sometimes i love myself i'm so fly and that goes to show what kind of child i was um and then i put happy face i love you chrissy i want to marry him chris brown he's hot um Chris Brown is my boyfriend because I used to have a big crush on Chris Brown like who didn't like yeah but that was mostly all the interesting funny stuff that was in this diary I have another one and I will be doing it if not tomorrow probably the day after but yeah um I love that diary so much and I was just like hey like <laughs> why not but um yeah those were popular when i was younger let me know if you guys my masterpieces have any secrets 
um, from when you was little that was corny, funny, or whatever the case is down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for your girl, Mimi Quarantina. And thank you. And thank you.